Like many others, the two men joined the presidential campaign of National Unity Platform leader Robert Chagulanyi at the very start in November 2020. Some of Robert Chagulanyi's right-hand men were his personal bodyguard, Edward Sebufu, also known as Eddie Mutwe, and fellow singer Ali Buken, also known as Nubian Lee. The two endured the various altercations with the police and the army. But in December, during a campaign trail in Kalangala, police and army encircled them and arrested the entire team. Chagulanyi was then separated from the arrested team and he lifted to his home in Magere. Those arrested were charged with possession of military stores in the UPDF court marshal. <laughs> After spending half a year in prison, the duo and others were released on Monday. Today, Eddie Mutwe, Nubian Lee and others gathered at Robert Chagulanyi's residence in Magere for a private meeting. Many were meeting for the first time since the year began. In an emotional interview, Eddie Mutwe shared what he went through during his arrest. Sebufu later broke down as he narrated his experience under military detention. Nubian Lee and Eddie Mutwe say that they were perplexed when they were charged with possession of four bullets before the military court martial in Machinde, together with other over 40 suspects who had appeared before the same court over the same charges. It is alleged that they were arrested uh, with possession of those bullets around Makere in January 2021. But the two and others were arrested in December 2020, which means that they committed the alleged crime when we were still under detention. On his return from prison, Sebufu realized he had missed the birth of his son. Meanwhile, Ali Buken, also known as Nubian Lee, was kept in the same cell with Eddie Mutwe. Many people in one truck, everyone over the other person. And uh, while they were taking us to Kalangala cells, these guys would step over our heads to move in the lorry. Like if you wanted to go to the front side, he would step over your heads. When they were transferred to Chitaria prisons, they had hoped to experience a better environment, but it was not to be. You find that you are supposed to be sleeping about 100 people in a ward. But you find that they bundle up inmates, over 300 inmates to the other. In that when, when, when they, they are trying to find space for you to sleep, this RRP has to stand between two people and then try to push them aside to create space for you to sleep and then they will push you in that space. Nubian Lee, a musician and close friend to Chagulin, says his family has been most hit by his absence. Had by the time they, they arrested me, we had just given birth to a little boy. And uh, before I was arrested, I think I was his best person at home. Even whenever I would try to go out, he would chase after me. He really wanted to go with me wherever. So the first time they came over to visit me, this kid could not remember me anymore. I remember when I tried to go out and hold this baby, and the baby just cried, running away from me. Like Eddie Mutwe, Nubian Lee says he needs treatment for the psychological breakdown. I'm dealing with it bits by bits, because yesterday when 
they released us. Still in the night, I would wake up over and over, thinking that I'm still in jail. And uh, when I think of my friends, the innocent people I've left behind, it really hurts me. Besides the bad memories and challenges Nubian endured, the two said not everything was bad. I remember one time, it was the first, generally 2021, there is one fella who came, a military guy at Kasijagira. He came and said, hey Nubian, today is first. He came with uh, a big bottle of Minat made, and then he opened it and he drank bits of it. Said, you know, you might think that I'm going to poison you, but I'm doing this out of a good will. This is my New Year's present to you. And then he also brought a small mattress because we were sleeping on a bare floor. Nubianani says he's now trying to bond with his children to compensate for the lost time when he was away. But the memories of what he went through will never fade. Sudil Yarhanga, NTV.